Okay guys, in this video we're going to look at how you uh, open the Insight goal file that you get um, sort of exported at the end of your simulation, say you're running it on a HPC, your Fluent simulation and you ask at the end of your journal file like I have here Let me see now at the end of the journal file to also while writing the case and data file to also export it to Insight Gold. This is for, and you can see I call it there, Bluff Power for export and power view, call it whatever you want. And then I've decided all these data sets that I want uh, to be exported. So you need to ask for each of these individually. Um, and that's up to you. Like some of these you can sort of make up yourself with an equation or a formula in power view. So that you can, you can look more into it, but this is just, you know, some of the stuff I export. So I, I create a few extra data sets up there in my sampling options. And then uh, I export these uh, data sets, so you can you can work through that. But the main thing is, anyways, um, another thing just to mention as well that uh, you have an option and um, where it's not to have cell centered or not. And I have an end there to say no, but a yes on that is probably quite good because sometimes the files are a bit smaller if you go for a cell centered uh, version. Anyways, so you'll get this. Uh, what will come out from this is this sort of stuff. You get these sort of scalar quantities in these files, and depending on your mesh size, they can be quite big. They could be, you know, maybe half a meg, half a gigabyte each. Um, so that's why maybe not using um, as many of those, like you know how I was creating ones for Y plus, and then maybe like deriving them using a formula is a bit more efficient. But whatever. So out of this, you'll get this insight goal case file, and then there's also some velocity, uh, so that's a vector file. Um, and then you have your scalars here, and then this is the sort of geometry thing, and this will be the biggest file in it. Uh, grand. So what you want to do is you want to open this up here with the notepad. Um, so if I was to just, and you've probably done this if you're here for this video, if you try and open that in um, PowerView right now, it's going to give an error. And the reason it gives an error is because of these things here, these little quotation marks, they shouldn't be there. And then you'll also get a, a not critical error that gives out about this two lines down the bottom. So I might as well do it here. So I'll just pause this. Okay, so we're in power view. So if I open this up as it is now, I get an error. Uh, there's a few, few errors, okay? So if I go in here though, and I remove these question marks, so again, there's a smart way to do this. Um, I want replace, so I want to go edit, replace, and I want to find everywhere there's this and then replace it with nothing. And then they're all gone. And then you want to finally just delete those last two lines. And then click save. And then delete this and open it up again, like so. And then click apply. And there won't be there won't be any errors uh, this time. So one second now, just make sure. Grant, so you see that loaded up there. Those errors there are from the the very first uh, time that uh, I loaded it in. So once those quotation marks are gone, and once those uh, then them last two lines are gone, you'll get rid of all those errors, and things will load in with, with no errors. Okay. So and Grant, and then. You know you can you can learn how to post process thing in power view um, in your own time uh, grant grant and you can see here you can load in the arrays based on what we got from from fluent and one thing as well too if you are using power view um, to sort of look into states and how you can save and load states and they can save you quite a time if you're post processing but i personally prefer um, post processing and assessing in fluent but the advantage of PowerView sometimes, if you have really high cell counts, um, it's a little bit less intense on uh, RAM. Okay, All right, we'll leave it there. Okay, guys, I said I'd just add a little extra if you are new to pa to PowerView. There's loads of videos on the internet to learn how to post process in it. But the main feature um, to kind of know about is this extract block because it takes this sort of um, big domain chunk and it'll convert it into say just the air file so you, you go to your the way it works is with filters and you can kind of turn on and off what you want from from the block so extract blocks are um, one of the most important um, things in in this and as well too we do a lot of half vehicle simulations 
Um, so one thing you can do as well, um, once you have your half vehicle and your extract block, you come over here and you can use uh, reflect. Reflect then will we'll spin it over. Okay, I'll leave there.